Welcome to the first episode in a new series that I like to call I don't actually know if it's going to be called that yet, but we're just putting that in there for now. So in this series, I'm going to take you guys along with me as I try to recreate famous and obscure crochet pieces from movie and TV. And no, unfortunately, this is not going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial like I usually do. This is more kind of like a, can I even make it? Mm, I don't know, but let's just see me try. <laughs> Before I get into it though, go on down and hit that little subscribe button for all the trendy crochet content your little heart desires. Alright, alright, alright. So I'm starting off this series with a newer movie, which is going to be Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. So there were a few really cool crochet pieces in this movie. Two of them were born on one of the main characters, Pussycat, and the other I can't remember exactly who it was, but it was this lady, she was wearing a full crochet ensemble. And I was like, I could maybe do that, but like, let's put that off for later. So today we're going to be doing one of Pussycat's halter tops, which is the rainbow one that she wears pretty much throughout the movie. And literally the whole time I'm watching it, I'm just like, I really want to make that. So here we are. <laughs> now, I think this is going to be fairly simple, but I guess you're just going to have to watch the video and see. Also, really quick, um, if you see this bandana that I'm wearing on my head right now, this is actually another tutorial that I will link in the corner if you guys want to go make this too. I don't usually wear bandanas, but for you guys, right? Let's just get right into it and see if I can even make this. I think I can. Okay, so I just finished up this star right here. So the only thing I have left to do is I'm gonna make a white border around it and then weave in all of these like little ends you can see. Hello in 720p. Um, front face and camera, you know where that's at. Anyway, finish the little star. It's really, really cute, but the only thing is that uh, I went and found a different picture of her top, one that I could see much better, and mm, the star is wrong. So the little two legs on the bottom are supposed to be like twice the size as the ones on the side, and the one on the top is supposed to be like the shortest. So um, this cute little guy is going to get taken apart. So uh, I'll see you once I'm done with Okay, so this looks more like it, right? Um, so I did double crochets on the bottom uh, legs, the half double crochet on the side arm or legs, whatever, and then just single crochet up here and I didn't do purple. So I'm thinking that this is, I mean, I know this definitely looks a lot more like the picture. So I think we are done with the star. So I'm gonna move on to the rest of this cutout portion. <music> Okay, so we're doing some handheld camera work right now and also a uh, headphone microphone, so I'm sorry about that. But um, I'm realizing that this top, 
Uh, it's cute, okay? It's cute, but the thing is that this part is too big. It's just too big. It needs to be like, this part needs to almost not be there. So it kind of brings it up like this. And then that would look more like the picture. So I think it's time to take this whole thing apart and redo it. I, I didn't necessarily think that I was gonna have to, but Listen, if I have to do what I have to do, so it's fine. So it's time to take this whole thing apart and do it again. All right, take two. So I'm just gonna do half double crochets um, all the way around our little magic loop here. And then instead of doing like half double crochets and double crochets um, around like the rest of the circle, around the rest of our little um, star I'm just gonna be doing single crochets because it turns out the other ones were just too big Guys, I'm gonna go crazy trying to make this little stupid star. <laughs> so this is the other one that I made. And when I look at the actual picture, it still doesn't look like it. It still doesn't look like it. So, um, third time is gonna be the charm. I'm not gonna film this one, but we'll see if it works. And I'll tell, I'll tell you guys what I did, but um, take three. Okay, this is it. This is our final star part that I'm making. So this is take number three. Now I'll put over up on the screen what exactly I did with all of this. But the last thing I did was I made the chains all the way around so we can start making the top portion yet again. So let's do a little comparison. Oh baby. Okay, so this is what the star looked like before. Again, it was too big. So this is what it looks like after. It's just a little bit smaller, but I think it's going to hopefully be perfect. So as you can see, what I'm gonna do is we're just doing single crochets all the way around this chain, the white chains that I made, in just the color scheme that we've already been using. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Hello, this is Brittany from the future voicing over Brittany from the past. At this point in the top, I'm now going to start connecting the top cutout portion with the bottom part of my halter. So I'm just attaching the yarn right below the little side arm of our star, and then I'm just going to chain up five. So after I do that, I'm going to skip two stitches and then make a half double crochet in the third stitch. And then I'm just going to chain up three skip two stitches and then half double crochet in the third stitch and i'm just going to do that all the way around until i get 
to the bottom of the opposite star leg, star arm. So I guess just watch this fast forward version of what I'm doing, version, version of what I'm doing. Enjoy. Oh, hello again. So this is actually just gonna be a fast forwarded version of me making the bottom portion of this top. So all I'm doing for this is I'm making two rows in each color. The first row is just gonna be normal double crochet all the way down that white connector chain, I guess, that I made. And then the second row is just gonna be an increase on the beginning and the end of the row and I'm just going to keep doing double crochets back and forth in just the color scheme that we've been doing the whole entire time. So if you like time lapses, go ahead and enjoy and if you don't, skip ahead a few seconds. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys back at the end. And would you look at that it's actually good it actually fits oh wow it only took me like well it actually only took me about a day and a half two days to make this so I cannot complain um, oh there's so many strange hand motions I'm using anyways guys super excited so let's move on to the next thing okay so I have now I think successfully finally made the body portion and the only thing that I have left to do is the straps and then the little scalloped edge on the bottom and then the back straps as well. So fingers crossed it goes well and I'm just going to start doing it right now. All right, so we're going to be working on like on the scalloped edge down here and it looks like it looks like it's just a nice like plain scallop edge. And then let's see got some back pictures as well it looks like it's just a chain or a braid but I'll probably just make um, two chains on the side so that's what we're going with right now so I'm gonna get started on these little scalloped edges and I'll show you guys a time-lapse like I've been doing hello and welcome back to my time-lapse so this first row I'm just doing single crochets right here and then in the second row when we get into the scallops what I'm gonna do is we're doing half double crochet scallops and also what I did was I did five half double crochets in one stitch and then I would skip a stitch put a slip stitch and then skip another stitch and then do five half double crochets in the second one just because that made it look so much more like the picture than I had actually originally done which was just normal scallop so uh, yeah continue with the time-lapse I somehow managed to pull it off because I think it looks pretty close to the original except for some of the colors obviously but I think the last thing that I'm gonna do with this is try to rough it up a little bit maybe get a little bit dirty and wash it um, just to try to give it a more of a like a grittier feel I guess just to make it look a little bit more like it does in the movie because this looks too perfect right now so 
I'm gonna go do that now and then I will show you guys the actual finished product. I'm really excited with uh, how this turned out. So let's go do that. All right, glasses back on, vision restored, and Pussycat's halter top from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is officially done. So I think this came out pretty darn good for only doing this in really three days. That tea dye at the very end also put the, the final finishing touches on this and makes it actually look much more, makes it look much more, makes it look more lifelike, more like it came from the movie. It just kind of gives it a little bit of a dinginess, kind of like it's been worn for a really long time. So I think that that was the little uh, cherry on top right there. Anyways, guys, um, if you have any other movies or TV shows that you'd like me to recreate crochet clothing from or accessories or anything, then comment them down below and even just comment your favorite movie or TV show anyways and I'll check them out and see if I can find anything to recreate as well. Because this is going to be a series on my channel, hopefully if you guys don't hate it. If you guys didn't know, I have a blog and I link it down below every single week as always brittanyalicecrochet.com where I have all of my written patterns and video tutorials on how to make crochet clothes. Also, don't forget to follow me on Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook, especially Instagram for daily crochet content. Um, I'm running through the checklist of everything that I need to say in my head and I think I've checked off everything. So with that, I'm hot, I'm sweaty, and I'm ready for this video to end. So with that, Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. This, that's me getting up.